risky behavior. I'm gonna call this risky playing in traffic, right? And um, I'm bored, I ain't got nothing to do. So one of my favorite things to do is watch like um, dash cam footage. I really enjoy that, watching dash cam footage. Um, and um, oh, cops getting owned, or either like when cops own those people when they be like, oh, I'm a cyber citizen, I don't need a license. It's like, oh, guess what? You're going to jail, you know? So anyway, so thank y'all for um, joining me. Let's get on ahead into these uh, videos. But yeah, this is um, risky playing in traffic, right? And let me tell you, man, people, People just do what they want to do behind the wheel of a car. They act like it can't kill them. They act like it can't kill other people. They, they just think it's a game. I, I I don't think they look at those numbers about how many crashes there are, how many people die. Um, and even outside of just dying, I don't even think people think about the fact that you can become um, hurt for the rest of the handicap. You become paralyzed, man. Like, seriously. Um, another thing is like, um, they got a lot of people on like, uh, YouTube, but mainly on Instagram, they have this one girl and she just shows her whole life. Um, she's young, she had an accident and she's paralyzed for the rest of her life. Um, she was, uh, I think she was in the CrossFit and everything, you know, she had, um, been working on her body. Um, she's in the um, CrossFit training and very active person to then getting into an accident and now she's still active but not where she was before and I don't think people think about those things they just get behind the wheel of a car they don't pay attention to um the traffic signs like even before we start this video we can see a partially covered sign that says that it's a straight line, and then you got this line like this. And what that says is that up ahead, right lane ends, you got to merge left, right? So um, people are not courteous. As you'll see in this first video, it really shows that people are not courteous. They're not looking out for other people. They think they're the only person on the road, and they're not really preparing for, especially when a lane merges, when you know a lane is going to merge, the best thing to do is not let me speed up and race and try to get in front of everybody. You should probably merge when possible, when clear, and slow down because you already know what people are going to do. They're going to be, you know, jamming in that front, you know, and stuff. And everybody, and when they do that, you know, everybody's going to start breaking. So it's best to go ahead, get in safely where you can, slow down, at least put two car lengths in front of you two to three if you can and just be ready because you know people are going to be jumping in up front causing everybody to slam on their brakes but um let's go ahead and get into this video you can see she sped up to jump in the front that solid line boom And you can see, see, he was already upset with her from back then, like down the road, she must have cut in front of him and he was already upset about that, right? He was already upset about that. And I can, let me see, let me rewind it. Cause automatically he's wrong. He, um, automatically, um, he was wrong, but I can tell by how she was driving that, um, she was, I can tell that she was um, rushing as well because she knows that this lane ends up here and 
I can tell that she, she was speeding and she, you know, I can, I can believe that she probably did cut him off, but that gave him no right to do what he did. So she races up boom, and cuts in front of that car. Now I can believe what he said just by what she did. As soon as she passed that car, she jumped in front of him. So I can believe him. She probably did cut him off back there and pissed him off. I know. So now, mind you, and I want people to see, you got to think about what's going on behind the scenes. She's already pissed somebody off by cutting them off. She's driving up this lane. She knows it ends because they probably live in this area. She just cut somebody else off right there in the video we're in. Now, mind you, she cut this guy off. I guarantee you they're racing each other right now. He's like, oh, no, you ain't going to cut me off. So she sees him in her rearview mirror driving up behind him, most likely, which takes us to this point, right? Now, most people don't know. Once you get to this part of the intersection, that side of the line represents you do not change lanes at this point. You don't. Boom. Now we're at this point. He's coming up on her. She sees him coming up on her, but she's not going to give him the opportunity to cut her back off. And so she keeps on driving. Now, he's automatically wrong. You're not supposed to change lanes within the intersection. Also, if we look, there's another sign that says right lane ends. And then we see another yellow sign. Why am I pointing with my finger? I got the mouse. We got another yellow sign up here that says um, it's merging. So there's still room. If he really wanted to cut her off and beat her in their little race, all he had to do was just keep going straight. This person up here probably would have let him in and he would have got right back in front of her. But he's like, no, nah, I'm going to cut over in front of her right here. Um, she knows that he was coming and she purpose she purposefully um, went straight. But the problem is he's still wrong. OK, he's still wrong. He's not supposed to be changing lanes right now. There's a reason you don't change lanes in an intersection. You just don't. You don't do it. Yeah, we're gonna stay right here. We have a camera. We saw you hit us. You kidding me? Don't come over there. Don't give me that shit. Don't come over here. Can I put my window up, please? Don't worry about it. Don't come over here. 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 Don't you do not do that, bro. Like, come on. And the mom is getting angry at her, right? But the lady, she cut, look, the dash camera, she cut y'all off. She might have not did it on purpose or whatever. She's probably just going in and out of traffic, driving, whatever. But she didn't hit y'all. She just cut y'all off. She kept driving. She doesn't have to let y'all in. And she certainly doesn't have to let y'all merge in. In the intersection. And you had no room to do it anyway. But. My thing is this. Your child is sitting right there. Why would you run your car into somebody with your child on the opposite side of that door? That is insane. And then the mom, like, you're not angry with him? You're not angry with your husband or the father of your child? Like, Really? Is that serious? And oh my God, this is such a perfect angle. Look how long that merge lane is. It gives you more than enough time 
none of what they both were doing, none of it, none of it was worth it. Look at that. Look at that. Look. Oh, my God. More than enough. If he was so consumed with beating her, all he had to do was keep going because she was racing up on the butt of somebody. The camera, the dash camera was racing up on the butt of a car that was going slower than what she was. So she would have had to slow down anyway. He could have said, oh, look at that. You cut me off. You were racing. You were speeding. Now you got to slow down. My merge lane continues. He could have kept going. Boom. Merged in front and gone by his business. Like, none of that was worth it. That's just silly. Like, oh, my God. That's silly. That's silly. But people are not courteous, man. Hold on. Let's keep going. Cause <laughs> the next video after this shows people are not courteous as well. Everybody just wants, nobody's looking out for anybody. Even when somebody makes a mistake, be courteous. Right. Even when somebody's doing something stupid, be courteous on the road because they're making they made a bad situation. Why make it worse? Somebody has to be the bigger person. And you'll see that in the very next video that's coming up after this. You came into my lane. You came into my lane. Why is your window down? I'm trying to put it up. You well, have to put it up. Start video. Don't, don't move. No move. She's gonna stay in the way. She's gonna make you hit her. That's fine. Did record it. I can't put my window up. I'm gonna get out of the road. No, 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 we're getting out of the road! No! Okay. We're getting out of the road! We're getting out of the road! Relax! Get out of the road! Get out of the road! Get out of the road! We won't! Okay, now here it says the officer told me they will both get citations for and what charges are unknown right now. She was saying my kids are in the car. Mm, I don't know what that means. But you can you can tell they both are like silly and just crazy right now. Um they're silly and crazy like even with her saying even with them both it's, it sounds like a guy and a female in the car. With them saying, oh, I'm going to get out the road. Watch this. So he thinks they're trying to run, which is silly because he hit their car. Why would they run? Now, the officers can say what they want to say, but the insurance companies still have their own little back and forth, right? You know, because I've been through this before. The insurance companies are going to have their own little back and forth and decide who should pay for the charges. Um, I in no way think that after this dash cam footage that the dash camera is going to have to pay for anything on their car. If anything, it'll be this guy standing in front of the car. His insurance will pay for their car. And then the dash camera's insurance will pay for their car, if anything, right? But in no way do I think <laughs> the dash cameras insurance is going to pay for their car because they did run into their car. You know, if you're merging, you assume all the responsibility. Trust me, been through this before on both sides. It's always like that. But they're like, oh, we're going to get out the road. Watch this. We won't. Now, what's right here? What's right here? 
these are car dealerships. This is nice and open. Why not turn in here? Why? Oh. Oh, no, no. Okay. And instead they pull right here. Which made no sense. It would have made more sense for them to just pull really closely to the car they just had an accident with because it would have been more it just would have been better for everyone. It's just silly. You know, they it's just silly. Anyway, let's jump to this next one. This is ridiculous. Next to the morons who walk in the crosswalk when they are not supposed to. The worst thing about driving downtown Nashville is the idiot drivers. Now there's a turning lane, but it doesn't start until right about here. This person is going against the traffic where it's not even their lane, and then this lady's doing the same back thing. Up. I've got a truck back behind up. me, honking at me, I can't back up, and here she's refusing to move. Back up. Now, like she can't do anything. But this is what I'm talking about with people being courteous. Watch this. Same back thing. Up. Here we go. Oh. It's the traffic where my bad. I'm driving I'm downtown listening. Nashville. So he says he's driving downtown Nashville, right? Now. The guy that's narrating, and he's the dash camera. He's in the grill. It looks like he's in a Hummer, right? Now. I understand what he's saying completely. He is right. However, you do this all the time. Driving downtown Nashville. It's crazy, right? You have sometimes people parked illegally on the curb. People are going around them. People are trying to um, just, you know, look. These people are all going straight. They're um holding up traffic all i need to do is make a left you know what let me just quickly zip around them get in that turning lane and then boom i'm out the way right that's just how it is when you're in a city and it's just extreme crazy traffic and yes you have the right away you're in your lane we understand it but right now it's a free for all and everybody's just doing everything. And if you're a great driver, you just navigate it. But to be so anal and the, you cause things that could have been alleviated. Watch this. And you'll see what I mean. Because I'm not saying the person in the Hummer is wrong. But what I'm saying is you can be right and still make the situation worse. Is the idiot drivers. Now, now there's look. a turning... He just keeps driving. Now, look, this person is coming out the thing. You want them to walk all the way to the light. Oh, it's traffic, man. Just slow down. Let them walk across. You see them. Just let them walk across. Why be so anal about that? No, you need to go down to the crosswalk. You need to go up to the, the, the corner. Like, come on. You're being a butthole. It doesn't start until right about. Like this. Now. Technically, according to his dash cam, I could tell from the hood and with the dash cam, I can, because I use a dash cam, I can pretty much guess that he's over the yellow line right now. So if an accident were to occur, they both would be in the wrong, right? Now, See these cars right here stuck, but this car is already passing it, going around to get in the turning lane. What's wrong with staying in your lane for a minute? All you got to do is break and pause. See, he's calling out what everybody else is doing, but what he won't say is, hey, I'm being impatient. Dude, five seconds, hug the curb, let that car get by. Right? Watch this. This person Boom. is going against get out the, way. the traffic. Now, everybody else is in their lane, and there's only these two cars doing this, right? 
where it's not even their lane. And then this lady's. Why would he do that? Just let that car quickly get out the way. That's all he had to do was pause for five seconds and let that car get out the way. I understand that that person is wrong. But for me personally, if I'm really trying to get somewhere, I'm not going to let nobody hold me up. Look, I'm going to pause for five seconds. Like, I'm going to put my arm out the window. Like me, here's a, this is what real drivers do, like for real. I have my window down and I be, I be acting like an officer. I would have my arm out the window. Hey, come on, hurry up. Boom. Then I'm back. And I'm going on about my business. Watch this. Now he got to hold himself up. I've got a truck behind me honking at me. I can't back up. And here she's refusing to move. Back up. Like she can't do anything better than just sit there. She's back alone up. in the car and back she's up. wearing a mask. What's up with that? Back up. The guys of the white Jeep are kind of yelling at her. There's a dude over here on the side on the sidewalk. And he comes out to kind of explain to her, you're not even in your lane of traffic. And she's like, oh, I want to go that way. I get out to explain exactly how stupid she is. And she's like, well, I just wanted to make a left. Well, Look, I said, you don't go into oncoming that. traffic to do that. You that? stay in your own lane of traffic back that way. I'm going northbound. She's going southbound. And she is in our lane of traffic. To make matters worse, now there's a fire truck coming up behind me. So she backs up, put her blinker on. What a complete idiot. So this guy's trying to get her off the road and out of the way. I'm trying to go northbound. And see, this is why I was saying. We are all the problem. All these cars right here, they see what's going on. She made a mistake and did something wrong. But what's most important right now is the fire truck is coming. And instead of them saying, you know what? Instead of us holding some personal traffic vendetta against her. She needs to get out the way. Um, you know what? Like if I was right here, if I was this car, once that SUV would have moved up in the front. I would have just put my arm out the window and waved her. Hey, yo, just get in front of me. You're wrong. But why further embarrass and punish you? Because somebody needs help. Somebody needs emergency services. And that's bigger than some little stupid bickering because you got out of your lane, which a lot of people do to try to just hurry up and get in the turning lane to get out the way. Everybody's rushing. Get out of the way of the fire truck, which is now coming up behind the truck, behind me. And the thing is, she's backing up and trying to maneuver her car and get out the way. She looks like she's not a very good driver. The Hummer wants her to hurry up and move. So why every time does she back up, does he scoop his Hummer up? She backs up so that she could turn her wheel, which if you turn your wheel, you still got to go for it. But he's backing up and blocking her from doing what he wants her to do. And he's narrating the video like he's so correct and so smart. He does not realize if you want somebody to move, stop moving. She's probably nervous, probably not a good driver at all. Maybe she shouldn't have a license. That's fine. But in the moment, you're supposed to be the better driver. Stop moving. Let her figure it out and let her get out the way. But every time she backs up, you inch up and you take away from the room she may have to turn her car and get out the way. And hunking your horn just makes it. Can you imagine, like, a lot of people out there, they're driving, and I don't think they should have a license, but they do. 
she's already nervous and panicking. She knows she's wrong. She knows she's embarrassed. She's trying to figure out where to go. All the cars in the other lane have blocked her and won't let, which would have been the most easiest thing is if somebody in the lane she's supposed to be in would have let her in, but they've cut her off. So she's trying to figure out where can I pull, where can I go? And you're hunking the horn. You think that's helping her think? It's like ridiculous at this point. Fire truck! Oh, she's so stupid. And now look, there's another car. That car is... Now, watch this. If he would have just been a little patient, none of that would have happened. And that's because he thinks he's a professional driver and he's not. A good driver knows how to control the traffic and the people and the situations around them that are happening. He would have been past this car and everything and never encountered none of that. Like if I was in that situation, none of that would have been my concern. It would have showed me pausing for five seconds, waving that lady through, and then I would have been on my business down the street. I would have been through the green light at this point. Against traffic as well. And I've got to find a way to get out of the way so this fire truck can make its way. There's even a taxi behind me there. So I pull over here to the right. And look at how long it takes this fire truck to get through this traffic because of that other person who is going head on into them. If you do this, you deserve to lose your license and have your vehicle crushed because you. Yeah, nah, dude, uh, a lot of that happened because of you. We understand that that person was wrong, but just because somebody is wrong doesn't mean, you know, I think people have a problem with this. Sometimes that's that's why they say be the bigger person. It's not fair. It's not. But when you are the most intelligent person, you have to be the bigger person and you have to correct the situation because the other person is not going to do it. And that's just the bottom line. It ain't no even no debate about that. You could have simply. But here's the thing. You won't be honest and say, you know what? I was being petty, trying to force somebody to back up because I did not agree with what they were doing. And in my being petty, here comes a fire truck. And now the situation is worse than what it was. I thought it was going to be a simple. Let me be petty. Make you back up. I'm not moving. I'm in my big Hummer and you can't run over me. And the people in the cars next to you, they're not going to let you in. Boom. But then here comes a fire truck. And now the situation is worse. And this is why you don't be petty. This is why you just be the bigger person and go on about your business. But um, anyway, leave a comment. I appreciate all the love, man. For real. All the love, all the likes, shares, comments, subscriptions. I'm at 67,000 subs now. I want to say thank you to you all. Uh, be sure to leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Even if you disagree, I welcome it all. Risky out. Risky behavior.